Hello guys, welcome to Tim's Tiny Arcade and today we are going to look at the controller for the Atari VCS. Um, I haven't even messed with it much. I've been playing most of my games with the modern controller, but we're gonna take a look at this. We're gonna really focus on the spinner of this controller, um, like paddle games that you would play back in the day. We'll play some Tempest, some Warlords, uh, maybe some Breakout, and maybe another one we'll throw in there just to test it out. Uh, Kind of excited to try this out because I've had this for about a month now, but I just haven't had the time to try it out. And I'm going to try it out today and we'll do it together, guys. Let's jump into it. TimsTinyArcade.com podcast YouTube. What the hell is it, Tim? What is it? YouTube. YouTube. Tim's Tiny Arcade. Boom shakalaka. All right, guys. So here is a look at the new Atari uh, joystick. Um, kind of neat how it lights up when you spin. You can see the lights go around. We're going to look at this function, though. Back in the day, the Atari 2600 or Arcade, there was a lot of paddle games. And this is controller's design to spin like this and use it as a paddle. Um, and then there's the, the button right here, and then we have a button right here uh, for some games. So it's got two buttons you can use. Um, we're gonna try Tempest first. I'm gonna jump into that one because that's a great arcade game that uh, used a spinner. We're gonna see how this handles. So let's, uh, we'll jump into Tempest first, and then uh, maybe we'll do Arcade Warlords, and maybe I'll do a couple Atari 2600 games. So let's jump into Tempest. All right, guys, we are going to jump into Tempest on the arcade. Go ahead and hit my play button. We used to have this in my home arcade uh, where I live. It was uh, Tilt in our mall. And I remember playing Tempest a lot. Spinner was great. I mean, you could spin that thing all the way around. Let me hit my start button. All right, we'll give this a go. So I'm just spinning the joystick and I had to use my zapper there, but it spins pretty good. This is actually a lot better than uh, say a uh, Xbox controller because I've played different versions of uh, Tempest and it's hard to play with a controller and this uh, with the spinner has made this a lot more enjoyable. So my early impressions of this is uh, pretty good. Now, is it good as the arcade spinner? No, but it does move very fast if you need it to. There we go. Yeah, I feel like I have really good control with the spinner in this game. I've never really enjoyed playing Tempest at, uh, at home as much because of the controllers. Ah. I have Tempest 4000, I believe, for the Xbox One. I mean, it's a great game, but let's see if we can get past this level here. But like you say, the controls. There we go. Avoid the spikes. So I give this a, a two thumbs up, at least for this game here, how it handles. I mean, we'll try some other games, but I'm sure that a lot of these games, some of the games it may not work as well for. Um, let me use my zapper. But I feel like I do. I have good control. Ah, he's going to make it up there. I'm going to just zap him. Avoid spikes. Oh, <laughs> I did. I died. All right. Well, hey, two thumbs up, though, for Tempest. I really enjoyed uh, playing it with the, the, the joystick. Let's uh, give another game another go. All right, let's give Warlords, the arcade version, a shot. It's definitely a game that uh, is fun with more players, but we'll be playing against the computer. Um, I am going to be the bottom right. So I am the blue. But yeah, it moves, it moves really smooth. Now this one, you could catch the fireball. Now I've played a lot more of the Atari 2600 version than I have of 
the arcade version, but it plays the same except you got this one would add more fireballs. This one had better graphics. Both are extremely fun though. Just hit that one. You can see I'm doing very well at uh, getting to the fireballs and it all has to do with this controller. This is another game you would not want to play with a joystick. Uh, you want to have either a paddle or, this is a pretty unique design. Ooh, I got both of them there. Let's see if I can win this match. It's always hard. I can usually beat a couple of the computers, but not. Oh, I'm getting beat up down there on the bottom. I let one get by. Let's see if I can. One more I can get that guy at the bottom left. Gone, and then I'm gone. <laughs> but yeah, that controlled great. Um, let's jump into an Atari 2600 game and uh, see how some of those might handle. All right, guys, we're going to try uh, the Atari 2600 version of Breakout on here. That's a great game uh, that, was you, uh, that used the paddles, so we're going to try it out on here. So, yeah, it's pretty smooth. Now, this is going to get tough. I think it's a little harder to control than uh, your... I mean, it, it, don't get me wrong, it's, it's pretty darn accurate, but just got to get maybe used to the way, you know, holding it. Uh, you know, this is fairly small, you know, the top of a joystick compared to uh, like the Atari 2600 paddles, but I will have to say it handles pretty darn good. Boy, it's getting fast. And it's a definite improvement, like I said, and I've said this a few times already, than a, uh, say, a uh, joystick, trying to play this game with a joystick uh, instead of a paddle, having this spinner on here. Huge improvement for games like this. Um, this is the way these games were made to be played. Wow, that's fast. I don't know if I could have got that with a paddle, a regular Atari 2600 paddle. But it, it, it runs smooth. Another thing you always had back in the day was uh, jitter. If your uh, paddles got jittery, wow, that was quick. Um, they would need cleaned and your, your uh, thing would be shaking there at the bottom. Your paddle down there at the bottom would be shaking. Uh, you won't have that with this, but anyway. So that was a look at uh, Breakout. Let's jump into one more game. All right, let's try Demons to Diamonds. This was another paddle game. I never owned this game when I was uh, younger, but uh, I'm at the bottom there. You have to shoot the same color, and then you had to get these diamonds. So I can shoot the red enemies here. You don't want to shoot the like the pink enemies because if they die, then they're going to shoot. This is actually a fun game. See, now I hit the wrong enemy there. Your score was at the bottom. You could play, there we go, get those diamonds there. You could play two players, uh, one person at the top. Let's see, I died there. Shot that enemy, once you do that, the enemy's skull stays there and um, he'll shoot at you for a while and he'll eventually disappear. You try to get those diamonds. I played this in the Atari tournament once, first time. And, uh, absolutely simple game, but man, it's a lot of fun. Go one more life here. Yeah, but that handles real good. I mean, you see how I got that diamond there? Really impressed with this controller. It makes a lot of these games that were paddle games a lot more enjoyable. Ah, missed that one. Smooth how I move there. All right, guys, so that was a look at the Tari VCS uh, spinner on the uh, joystick. I really, really enjoyed this. This makes uh, a lot of those games a lot more enjoyable if you don't have uh, 
old school paddles, you know, to be able to play these games like an Atari 2600. This is actually a good way to go, um, playing these games on a modern system. So I give it a thumbs up what they did with this. I really did enjoy it. I think it's a pretty cool thing that they put that spinner right on the joystick. But anyway, guys, I want to thank you for watching today's video. Please like and subscribe. Until next time, guys, keep on gaming.